I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video has been requested a lot. It's my top three mineral sunscreens in 2021 for skin of color that leaves no white cast. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. This is purely a reference library for my global skin of color family. So we know what to purchase and what we should maybe avoid. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. So first of all, there are two main forms of sunscreen. One is chemical, and that is the vast majority of what you'll find in the stores, in the drugstores, etc. And then we have the mineral sunscreens, also known as physical sunscreens. Now, my preference is mineral sunscreens for a number of reasons. So first of all, zinc oxide is one of the main minerals used. It's either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Zinc oxide is my preference. So zinc oxide is anti-inflammatory. This is great for everybody with eczema, with sensitive skin, anyone that gets heat rash, prickly heat rash, um, you want to use something that's anti-inflammatory throughout the day. Don't forget when you're out in the sun all day, your skin is being attacked by UV all day long. UV is invisible, but it is basically cooking your skin. And so actually you do want to have something anti-inflammatory on the skin all day long that's continuously soothing the skin. The other area of the face that I'm concerned about being 37 years old is around this area. So the crow's feet area and also around the mouth area. So around the eye area, usually when you put sunscreen, chemical sunscreen around this area, it can feel a little bit irritating, especially if you have sensitive skin, which I do around the eye area. A lot of people get eczema around the eye area too. And again, this is why we prefer mineral sunscreen over chemical sunscreen in this area specifically. It's one area that really does get missed when we apply sunscreen. We tend to dot it around the face. We tend to rub it into the chunks of the face and we forget the details, which, you know, the crevices here, um, which, you know, the bottom line is it's the thinnest part of the skin is the thinnest of the whole face and it's the first to wrinkle it's the first to show your age and uv is one of the biggest contributors for premature aging so you know you really actually need to focus specifically on this area and if you are feeling a stinging sensation or an irritated sensation with your chemical sunscreen it may be that it's time to move to a mineral sunscreen for your eye area the second reason I prefer mineral sunscreen over chemicals is that it doesn't enter the bloodstream, including nano zinc. It stays in the top layer of dead skin cells. Um, so this means it doesn't penetrate into the dermis and into the bloodstream. And this is why I why we recommend to pregnant women not to use chemical sunscreen, to use mineral sunscreen, because it doesn't enter the bloodstream. Um, but also chemical sunscreen enters the breast milk and urine. So there haven't been enough long-term studies on what the repercussions of this are, if any. There may be no repercussions to this, but when it comes to myself or my loved ones, I'm, I always recommend mineral over chemical for that reason. Um, and this is my global skin color family, and I'm going to recommend to you what I would recommend to my own children. The other reason I love mineral sunscreen is because zinc oxide is broad spectrum. So, for example, in Zincable has a PA rating of four pluses. That's maximum UVA protection plus it's SPF 50, which is maximum UVB protection. So I love the fact that zinc is also broad spectrum. A lot of chemical sunscreens are also broad spectrum. It's just that so is mineral. Now it's important to be aware of the downsides of mineral sunscreen too, and the reason why people sometimes sidestep it. And the big one is that mineral sunscreen, if not formulated correctly, can leave a white cast. This is a big issue for the skin of color community, probably more than for our Caucasian counterparts. Um, and so this is one reason why we tend to steer away from mineral sunscreen. When I first started formulating in Zincable, I remember thinking that's a mineral sunscreen. I remember thinking, it's because, you know, why has this not been done before? You know, has it been that the skin of color community has been overlooked and that's why the big companies haven't managed to make a mineral sunscreen that's, that has no white cast? And honestly, after two years of failing, 
that's not the correct um, answer. Mineral sunscreen, imagine this has 17% zinc oxide in it. That's like chalk. Okay, so imagine I've said to you, right, go and make me an emulsion with 17% chalk and make it invisible. Make sure there's no white cast. It's almost impossible to do. It's extremely difficult to achieve. And this is the reason why it hasn't, you know, it hasn't been done up until now. And this is why I want to make this video now because finally we're at a place where we do have a couple more options on the market. And the bottom line is, if a sunscreen leaves you with a white cast and you don't like it, then you're not going to wear it. And if you don't wear it, it's going to lead to premature aging and it can lead to cancer. So sunscreen is just essential. I don't mind which one you go for, whether you go for mineral or chemical. Honestly, I just want you to be protected from UV. These are just my preferences when it comes to sunscreen. So my top three mineral sunscreens that are not mixed, meaning they're 100% mineral sunscreens. Starting off with Color Science. I talk a lot about Color Science. It's a fantastic um, sunscreen. It's tinted. It's SPF 50. It's PA3 plus air, so not maximum UVA protection, but um, it, it you can see my eyeliner here. That's my eyeliner. <laughs> you can see it blends really nicely into the skin and doesn't leave a white cast. So for me, this is definitely a winner. It is also NAFE safe. So NAFE safe means no denatured alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils. Denatured alcohol can lead to drying of the skin, which I definitely don't want in a sunscreen when your skin is already being assaulted by UV and is being dehydrated throughout the day. Number two, fragrance. So fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis and I would avoid it in all your skincare. And E stands for essential oils. So essential oils are skin sensitizers and you wouldn't want to do this and then go out and have UV hitting the skin. So again, I would avoid essential oils in all your skincare. So this is 50 ml for $24.99. The next one is Tinted um, by Deepika Mutiala. I did a video, we did a video collaboration together and she kindly sent me this. So this one is SPF 30. So it's what it looks like, it's SPF 30. It's a, again, mineral sunscreen and it's tinted. So again, I like that it doesn't leave a white cast. It blends in really nicely into the skin. Um, and it works really nicely as a primer. So if you want to wear this under your makeup, for example, um, I think it works really well. So this is another one that I would recommend. And this one is 24 pounds for 50 mils. And lastly, I want to talk about Inzincable. This is Dr. V Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50 with PA4 pluses. So this is, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand to show you. So this is SPF 50 with PA4 plus it, so that gives you maximum UVA protection. So as you can see, it has no white cast, um, and I'm wearing it right now under my makeup, and I would wear it on top of my makeup as well throughout the day. So I usually reapply every two to three hours. You're looking about a quarter to half a teaspoon for the face. Uh, again, this one's 24.99 for 50 mils, and um, we also included Melashield into Inzincable. So Melashield is a UV-stable tyrosinase inhibitor, specifically for pigmentation for skin of colour. And we did an independent clinical study on 51 candidates with skin of colour, and 73% of them saw a reduction in pigmentation when switching from their sunscreen to Inzincable. So I would recommend Inzincable specifically for skin of colour when you have, when anti-aging and anti-pigmentation are your biggest concerns. So those are my top three mineral sunscreens that I would recommend. I think choose the ones that work best for your lifestyle, the ones that you you like the feel of and the ones you're going to put in your bag and reapply because there's no point spending because these are all expensive sunscreens they're all coming in at 24 25 pounds for 50 mils all three of them and the other question i get asked is but why why are mineral sunscreens so expensive it's because zinc oxide at 17 or 18 percent is a high percentage of an expensive ingredient. This is why gen it's a metal oxide. So this is why chemical sunscreens are often much cheaper to formulate. You know, you can make a big batch. I can sell you a 250 mil batch of sunscreen, you know, for 10, 15 pounds, but that's never gonna happen with zinc oxide, which is a mineral oxide. Um, it's 
it, it just is expensive. The actual raw material is expensive. Can you guys please write down below the mineral sunscreens you're using right now and if you love them, or whichever sunscreens you're using right now and if you love them for skin of colour. Uh, please do write down below which other videos you want me to make for you. Uh, don't forget I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. And uh, please do follow me on Instagram at the hyperpigmentate. Oh no, I've changed it now. We've changed it to Dr. Benita Rattan. Uh, you can follow me at the Skincare by Dr. V also on Instagram, TikTok, Dr. Benita Rattan. And now on Facebook for my Dr. V Inky Hackers, I've created a private Facebook group. There are some questions that you need to answer in order to be allowed into the group. <laughs> uh, but I want to create a safe space for my Skin of Colour family to discuss their skincare issues without judgment and to be able to ask me questions and also to be able to answer each other's questions. I think this is really key. Now, I think we're at a point where we've made hundreds of videos. We've had, I think, 25,000, 25 million views of the channel. We've now educated, a, you know, a huge percentage, I would say, of people who are interested in skincare and have skin of colour. And now I think it's time for us to come together and help each other. This has always been the aim for me. The aim has always been how else can I add value to your life? How else can I improve, you know, what I'm giving to you and improving your life? So thank you so much for following. Uh, if that sounds good to you, please do give me a thumbs up and please do download your free guide for skincare for skin of colour, which is down below. Take care, bye.